Welcome back to the channel and first of all, I would like to thank you all for helping me reach 5,000 subscribers. So to celebrate that, I'm giving away 50% discount on all the best selling products using this coupon code. You can find the direct links from the video description down below. All right, in today's video, we're gonna create this shatter text or slice text animation all inside of After Effects. <laughs> So here I am in a new composition. I'm gonna go and type in the text, slice, and center it to the composition. Layer new, and I'm gonna create a new solid, which is white. Hit OK, and rename it to BG, and move this below the text, okay? I'm gonna pre-compose this text, select the text, right click, and pre-compose it, and I'm gonna type in edit text and hit OK. So I'm gonna texture this text, all right? I have textures here, so I'm gonna drag in this fractured glass texture just below the text layer. I'm gonna change this track mat to alpha mat. So you can see you have some texture here, all right? So once you are done with that, select both these layers right click and I'm gonna pre-compose it again so I'm gonna call it text underscore one so the text underscore one is this and if you go inside this text and if you change this text shatter and if you go back to the main composition you have the same textures and the new text all right that's the reason why I pre-compose it so that's how pre-comp can save you a lot of time and save you in organizing how you structure the, the project, all right? Let's go ahead and create that slice. Go to the effects and presets. If you don't find this, go to window and you can find it inside effects and presets, all right? Go, go and search for shatter, drag and drop it on the text. And first of all, you will have this. Don't worry, go and go to the effects and controls here. Change this view from wireframe to rendered and go to shape. Now, if you scrub through the timeline, you see a brick shape shadow text. All right, so I'm gonna change this pattern to glass, okay? So we want a flat glass, so extrusion to zero. And let me just keep that for now and let's go inside this force, okay? If I play it back now, you can see it's shattering into pieces, so we don't want that. So the strength should be at zero. So if you play it back now, you have the whole text shattering and, you know, falling down very quickly so go to physics so the falling of this text is influenced by the gravity so let's reduce this gravity to one and let's see how it it falls let's play it back now it's a little bit better it's it's slower let's go to the viscosity and you know increase that to maybe one and if i play it back now you have a very cool slice text you know so and you can also offset this randomness mass variance so you can play with these settings and at the same time you can play with the origin here you can see if you move it around the shape how the shape changes you can place what whatever you want in the scene it depends on what you like all right you can you can play with this direction as well and it's all about having some variation. In the original example, you saw a glitch transition that was created using this glitch transition pack from AE Juice, AE Juice Pack Manager. I have a discount for this as well. You can check the description down below. All right, with this out of the way, let's go ahead and create some RGB spill suppression effect, okay? Let's keep that glitch transition aside. Let's go ahead and create a new adjustment layer and let's go inside this effects and presets and type in chromatic aberrations 
drag and drop this. And right away, you can see a very cool effect. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a keyframe for all these, okay, at the beginning of the timeline. And maybe I'm gonna set this to zero or maybe zero and zero, okay? Once you go maybe at two seconds, you can start playing with these numbers. You know, just a random number, just like that. If you play it back, you see how cool it looks. Scrub through the timeline and maybe around five seconds, I'm gonna bring it back to, you know, I don't know, maybe five or some random numbers, just like that. So that's how I created this. If you wanna learn more text animation in After Effects, you can watch this video. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video. Take care.